Hi guys, and welcome to another Armin's Tech Talk. Today we are talking next generation routers and whether or not one that Asus is introducing is gonna be worth putting in your home. But before we get into that, let me know in the comments below, what router are you currently running? What price point would you be willing to upgrade your home network at? And what type of technology are you looking for in a home network? Now, with that being said, let's get into it. At CES 2022, Asus released the king of routers. There is nothing else like this thing if you're looking for a router by itself. TP-Link doesn't have anything else like it. Linksys doesn't have anything else like it. And the closest thing you can get to this router is from Netgear's Mesh Orbi network. Asus ROG announced the ROG Rapture GTAXE 16000. Now, this router has a 2 gigahertz quad core Qualcomm chip inside, but that is not where the beauty lies. The beauty doesn't even lie in its four bands. It's got 6 gigahertz bands to supply wireless high-speed networking to all of the newest devices, whether it's going to be Zen 4 or Alder Lake, even the next generation iPhone and iPad should support 6 gigahertz networking. For legacy devices, you will have 2.4 gigahertz band and 2 5 gigahertz band so that you can divide up so Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 4 bands as you don't want your slower devices slowing your networking down. But that is still not the beauty of this router. The beauty and the home networking genius of this router is in the fact that it supplies a 2.5 gigabit per second WAN port to connect to the fastest internet out there, whether you're on Verizon Fios or you're on Comcast gig speed, which is now rated at 1200 Mbps down, you are going to be able to take advantage of that with this router. Additionally, on this router, there are two 10 GBE ports. So two ports that support 10 gigabit ethernet for all of your in-home networking needs. You're not gonna get this speed to the internet. No, no, that's not what these ports are for. If you have a home media server, it will supply all the bandwidth that you need for that. Also, if you have multiple devices that are wired in a topology or you have a desk where you need multiple different devices connected to the internet all at once, this is going to be able to provide enough bandwidth to be able to give all of your devices in that area of the network full speed. And that is where the beauty of this router sits. In addition to those two 10 gig ports, you have four one gigabit ports if you want to connect something directly to the router and it doesn't need the highest bandwidth possible. Additionally, you're going to have some USB 3.0. Unfortunately, this isn't the fastest USB out there. You, there are other devices that you can use to get faster USB, maybe not as a router for network attached storage, but with those 10 gig ports, that is what I would recommend using. And that is what I personally will be using when I get this router, because this is something I've been waiting for for a long time. And I think that the router that I've been waiting to upgrade to is finally here. There is no price point on this router. Currently, the router is due early 2022. So hopefully we will see this thing by May. Guys, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And bop the subscribe button if you want more content like this. And of course, 
do ding that bell. It will let you know when new content goes up on the site. Again, I appreciate you all for watching. This is a network router I'm looking forward to. I will give you guys an update when I get my hands on it. Until then, I will see you in the next video.